Happiness in life comes about by many different venues. Each one of us has aspirations of being happy in each and every moment. Every moment that is provided for us, we wish to experience it with a happy mind. Most feel that happiness is our birthright. I believe this is so. Without happiness, after all, who are we? What are we? And what are we living for if we cannot depend on our escalated moments of happiness, joy, and even moments of blissfulness? One thing that we all have in common is our desire to be happy and joyful in and with life. Joy is the expression of our happiness and perhaps the greatest expression of life itself. We might ask, from where does this happiness come from? It shouldn't be such a difficult question. After all, it's what we want most out of life. When we find happiness, the kind of happiness that seems more lasting than other sporadic forms of happiness. We find that the happiness we seek lies in our ability to be inspired. For it's our inspiration that provides this magical summoning like a connection with our innermost dreams and ambitions. The muse or creative influence our inspiration and it seems to flow from the heart and sometimes at the most surprising times how magical it is that we can go from a mediocre existence to a magical inspired life that seems absolutely limitless in what we can do create be and have When inspiration strikes, embrace it. Use this magical power of inspiration because it's there to tell you something. Inspiration is telling you what you should be doing in life. If you create something wonderful, keep creating it. If you're inspired to be somebody wonderful, be it. If you're inspired to change your life in any way at all, by all means, change it. Imagine for a moment what your life would be like if all you did from moment to moment is something that truly inspired you. That you only did those things that, that took this magic of inspiration and allowed you to use it to its limitless and full potential. To live a life of inspiration. To live and be inspired by life itself. So never underestimate your power, the power behind your inspiration. Use it to its maximum. Realize the power that this gift provides for you. Close your eyes, if you will. How does inspiration feel for you? How does it feel? Internally, what is happening when you're truly inspired? Think of the last time that you were inspired by what you were doing or what you hope to do.
feel inspiration within, within the body. Internalize the memories, the feelings, all of these sensations of inspiration. Don't look for it, but allow it to be. Inspiration is your gift. And it's such an important part of you. And it's through meditation that we can learn to cultivate it by understanding it and by feeling it within the body. Because to cultivate inspiration is to cultivate joy and happiness. Imagine how it would feel and how it has felt to be the most accomplished musician, artist, speaker, traveler, lover. Internally list your chosen field, perhaps the field you work in or would love to work in, and imagine what it would be like to be the most inspired person in that area, to be the most inspired you. There is joy to be found everywhere. And we only have to look within to find it. You will find it deep within your inspiration. 